welcome to the channel. Um, this is a follow-up video um, on the DRO um, uh, relocation project. Sounds very grand, um, but all it means is that I moved the uh, the reader and the scale for the DRO from here further out to the back, and um, and it's pretty much complete, really. Um, and um, so. What I thought I'd do was just give a quick overview of of what I've done and then a bit of an explanation as to how I've done it. So as I mentioned previously um, in the first part of this uh, this video, the um, the scale for the DRO was, was in the way here. It uh, obstructed the, the tail stock, so it doesn't anymore. I can get the tail stock all the way in, just like a normal MIFID. <laughs> Um, and the other thing was the bracket for the for the scale uh, was getting in the way here. So if I was um, uh, winding the cross slide outwards to here, um, just there is the mounting hole or the screw hole for the bracket, and that used to clash with the the clamping lever for the cross slide. Uh, sorry for the saddle. So that was a pain as well, and then the other the other problem was the um, the rod or the the scale used to stick out the back here, and I was always paranoid that I was going to break it when I'm pulling swarf out the back, or um, or when I take the cover off. So what I've done is uh, I've moved the whole thing back, um, and uh, in the previous video um, uh, I showed how how I'd done that, how I'd fabricated this bracket uh, since that time I've extended it uh, I've added about another 75 mil on the back here um, so that I could move the reader a little bit further back uh, just so that the 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 scale was a bit better supported so I'll show that in a minute and uh, and and what I've done after that is um, I've made a new a new bracket to mount the scale which is this end piece here and then there's a cover which I've made from aluminium channel so i'm going to mount the camera um now and then i'll take this apart so that uh, you can see how i've um how i've made it right so hopefully that captures it well enough um it's not the best angle but uh hopefully it will do to illustrate what i'm saying so let's um, get this out of the way and i'll begin by just removing the cover so the reason for this cover was just to protect the scale from any swarf um, that might wrap around it um, because even though I'd moved it back a bit and it was a bit better supported it still um, there was a risk of it of it um, being damaged so I didn't really want to leave it that way and I think it looks neater with it being covered up anyway Right, so these are just uh, some posi drive countersunk uh, M5 screws that I've used here. So that just lifts off now. So as you can see, as I wind the carriage in and out, the scale moves in and out of the reader. Right, so this is the old bracket. So this is what used to mount the scale, and that was located, um, well, recently it was mounted Round about there. Just wind that back in a bit. So recently it was mounted there because that's where I relocated it to. Originally it was back where I showed previously, which is currently out of shot of the camera. And um, so I decided to change that uh, because I wanted the new bracket to be multifunctional. So I wanted it to mount both the scale for the DRO as well as um, having some features to mount this cover on there like that. So the way I've arranged it is um, there's about a millimeter clearance between the top face of the reader and the underside of, of the channel. And what I'm about to do is, um, is just with some one millimeter uh, ABS shim stock, I'm going to stick a piece on this side 
and a piece on this side uh, because the, the channel is only supported at one end so what i don't want to do is it's quite a long lever so it so it could put quite a, a moment on on this bracket because it only has one screw going into the side of the carriage and i don't want to overstress this uh, scale i have damaged this scale before which is why it's got this little stainless steel sleeve on it because i, I did a repair job on it now i've since realized and this is one of the benefits of uh, of the new old dro's is that they have a five-year uh, no fault guarantee so they they even uh, guarantee against uh, faulty workmanship on installation which is great for me because um um well i didn't damage it on installation but i did have a bit of a crash where um i clouted the reader with with uh, the old bracket and it just bent the um the scale so really it needs replacing but it's but it's still working satisfactorily so um i'll get around to seeing if i can get it exchanged so uh, a little bit about this uh, it's just an aluminium um i mean it's a it's a bracket of sorts i suppose um i'm not sure what else to call it bracket slash end cap um so uh is it better with the lights on or the lights off i can't tell there we go i think that's that's a bit less glaring on the on the bright aluminium um so yeah, it's a, it's a it's a chunk of aluminium that I machined out. I machined this pocket into it. It's, it is all the way through. On reflection, I probably should have left the bottom blind, so I, I should have made it a, a blind pocket because that would have added a bit of rigidity to the thing. But you know, it, it shouldn't face any any um, massive loads really. All it's doing is holding the weight of the of the channel and just supporting the scale. So. The, the channel itself, um, three countersunk holes which mount to this bracket, I machined the side off so it clears um, the back of the carriage. Oops, let's move that out of the way. So it just drops on like that. Um, but as I said before, um, I've designed it to have a, a millimetre clearance between the channel and the reader. And it's also it's also intended to have a millimetre clearance between the bottom of the, the lip of the channel and the top face of this bracket. Um, what else is there to say about this? Uh, not much, really. Um, I'm going to be waffling otherwise if I try and say any more. So that's about it, really. So I'm quite happy with it. And uh, whatever happens now, this... What really felt like a delicate uh feature you know let's just wind this back so you can see so um let me adjust the camera slightly as well so it gives a better view there we go so actually if i wind the, the carriage in um i've got about uh what currently i've got about 50 mil between the end of the rod and the and the back of the the uh the splash guard so if I wind that in to the extent of the travel of the cross slide, it almost reaches the back of the uh, splash guard there. And um, and I've made the cover so it's just longer than the rod. So um, so if I put that in place and just, just let it sit there. So that will bottom against the back of the splash guard before the rod but I've also um, pretty much I'm at the limit of travel for the cross slide um, it's unlikely that I'm ever going to be uh, this far forward as I am now so uh, so I'm, I'm quite satisfied overall the next thing is to just use it as is and, uh, and see what um, adjustments or improvements I might need to make over time um so that's probably about it really i just wanted to share this just to show it in terms of how i've constructed it um what the thought process was um and 
yeah, I think it's an improvement on where it was. I've got plenty of access for the tailstock to get in. I can use the carriage locking lever now to my heart's content without worrying about any interference. And that's probably about it. So, um, so I'll just pop this back together now. No, I won't. I need to, I need to glue the, the plastic shim stock on here. So I'll do that now with some double-sided tape and then I'll put it all back together.